my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to supersonic subatomic Java, closely related to Java E. So let's start a supersonic Java E project. So how to do that? Um, I would like to use the Maven Quarkus Ma Maven plugin for that. Quarkus is the group ID and Quarkus uh, Maven plugin is the name of the plugin and I would like to use the create goal. And the plugin is really fast, it's not a Maven archetype, so it doesn't have to wait until the whole catalog is pulled from the Sonar type central. Uh, yeah, hex uh, Quarkus and uh, Quarkus and uh, Quarkus version fine. Yes, perfect, perfect. And now I have the resource. So let's take a look under the hood what is actually going on here. So I will just reload the project. The Quarkus project should be immediately visible. I will just build it, initially build that. And uh, it starts tests. And these are actually system tests. And now everything is successful. So it started the tests and run against the service. And then um, everything was shut down. So take a look at the POM XML. It comes with 117 lines of code. And this because mostly because we have some at, uh, system tests which uh, are uh, uh, configured as unit tests and we have integration tests which test the native compilation. So what I would like to do to delete all the tests altogether. We don't need them today. And um, so what we can do then is to we can remove the journey dependency, we can remove the uh, rest assured dependency for sure. We can delete uh, the uh, Quarkus plugin, you, we already used that, and uh, Surefire plugin is also not needed, it's related to unit tests, and then we can relate, uh, remove the build altogether, and the uh, the native profile is only needed for for um, native compilation, and I will cover this in subsequent episode, not today, so I can remove the pro, uh, profiles um, as well, and now it's almost at the level of Java 8 Lean Java 8 project is very simple POM, very short and simple. Now, we don't need this dependence, uh, this uh, property, but I will keep that because both are relating to this version. So, uh, looks good. Now, uh, what we have here, we have a single file, hello resource. There is no JAXRS configuration, so there is no root, uh, root path. Um, this is the root path. And what I would like to do is, I would like to introduce another car class called uh, hello service and uh, both classes should be actually in the boundary package so let's do that boundary and I will put this class here as well so now we have nicer structure so we have hello resource and hello service and the hello service has to be annotated because there are there is no bins XML and uh, without the bin 6 ml we have def default behavior, which means only annotated classes can be injected. So I will just pick request scoped and uh, return, say, hello. And this will return hello Quarkus and with some dynamic part. So we have that. And now I can use it here. So how to do this? I will just use the hello service, inject the hello service, service, what happened, service, and add inject, and then here, this service, say hello. Okay, now, I can build that, so inst clean is of course not, not necessary. And um, now uh, I can use exactly the same plugin as before with the build goal. And now something interesting should happen. So it created in target the uh, runner. And let's take a look at the size. And the runner is tiny. It's 36k. But it has references to the lib folder, which contains a uh, lot of dependencies. Not all are used, but some of them. But the nice nice part is you can of course put the lib folder to the base Docker image and then ship just the Quarkus image over and over again. So you have clear separation uh, between the infrastructure and business logic. And the Quarkus runner uh, 
could be considered as I would say half fat jar or or double thin thin jar. <laughs> and uh, what, what what you can do right now, you could actually run the runner with Java minus jar, and it started. So the start is very quick. It's, we we have CDI and REST easy, so CDI and JAX REST. And I can switch here and say localhost 8080. So go go here, and we have 8080 with hello, and it responds hello Quercus with the ID. So thank you for watching. Enjoy Quercus, and um, see you at sub, um, um, upcoming um, workshops at Munich Airport or Ehex.io. So thank you and bye.